Syrinx, the famous mm -hmm. Syrinx by the flute solo. Mm -hmm. And this is almost like I can hear the flute. So I just want to be clearer. You could pedal a little bit for like resonance, mm -hmm. maybe. Here I pedal this. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, I'm doing kind of legato pedal, but um, I'm just making it warmer, but I'm not drowning it. So let's experiment with that, okay? With what you want to hear. to one chord, we talked about four chord, lean, mm -hmm. and so lean on the pedal. So a very clean legato pedal between the four chord, which is a C flat chord, which resolves down to the G flat mm -hmm. chord, the G flat major chord. Okay, so, so this time try it again, and then when you get there, lean on the four chord, use a full pedal for that whole four chord and a nice pedal change, legato pedal, into the what, one chord. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. going to have to get off the pedal. Mm -hmm. The question is, do you want to pedal on those notes or not? Let's experiment with that. This is, you have to make these decisions. So, let's see what I do. See what I did? I did this without the pedal, but then I put the pedal on this one. You can do things like that. You don't have to go. To me, I just wouldn't do that. Because here, you know why? Because it almost speaks to the fact that at the beginning you were clearer because you had one line. You had one line. You didn't have homophony. You had mm -hmm. monophony, mm -hmm. mo mono theme. Mm -hmm. And then here he's going back for a moment to just clean two eighth notes again. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe no pedal here, but pedal here to make it warm. Mm -hmm. but this is, these are ideas you can throw around. Why I put the G flat with the pedal? <laughs> Otherwise, you got a dry spot there. So if you if you don't have pedal, you get this. Yeah. So that's why I did it. So if I got so I, this one I didn't though. But this one I did. See, pedals down. That way I don't get all of a sudden like what happened? It dried up. <laughs> so if anything, if you don't pedal the E flat, you usually leave a legato touch. <laughs> when you get to the G flat, after you play, lightly put the pedal down so it's warmed up. And it can easily go up warmly to measure five to the chords. Mm -hmm. This is very tricky. I think I need a little bit more here. There's something happening with something being caught in that G flat chord. clean legato pedal between your G flat and your D flat chord. Now that I'm hearing you do it, 
He's going back between having full harmonies between the hands, like lots of voices, mm -hmm. to start coming back to what? The way he started single voice. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do on that B flat you just played? You have to clear the pedal, no pedal there at all, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want the pedal hanging the note over the chord over, do you? No. So yeah. let's see. So finger, the uh, upper voice is the pedals holding it. so we never know that we're not doing legato, that we're not cheating on notes. Mm -hmm. So here again, four connects to three, two, one. Two connects to one, three, four. Four connects to three, two, one. Right, you want all those sonorities because you don't want to lose anything. two voices on top and I got three voices on the bottom so the pedaling will work with how you pedal the bottom of course right the bottom will determine so you're already pedaling it because the left hand is pedal the way you're going to pedal the right hand you can't do two different pedals right After you do this, this was nice. Float. What are you doing here? Lean and less. Lean and less. Don't, don't, don't get any gaps though. There's some gaps in the left hand. I mean, no gaps. better. The only thing you have to really be aware of when you're doing your legato pedal here that really is a legato pedal because otherwise it gets dried up in little spots.
So you're trickling down all the way to the mouvement, which means moves it a little more. So this, all this is trickling down, especially this, very soft. <laughs> That was so much better. Let's go back to this. Sneak into it. Yeah, don't make such a fuss over this. He's just rolling into the melody note, which is the da da e flat, the E flat, right? One, two, three, four to five, right? One, two, three, four, one, one. Right, you don't want, you don't want the listener to go, oh, this whole thing is getting bogged down by a roll. There's just a decoration, he's rolling to the E flat. You want to do a, a rotation, look. And you're doing the finger switch there, right? Do it slowly, like this, one, two, three, four. smashes down and it interrupts the really the melody. Right, right. Keep in mind what's your melody and know that's a chord that's rolling into the E flat. It's rolling into the E flat, at least that's how I do it. Because he only has the roll for and here's the melody. So it really has to go pretty quickly because you don't want to have an extra beat. Some 
pedal here. Mm -hmm. We pedal. You can do every two of those in, a, in one pedal. You don't want to pedal each one because they blend nicely. You'll see. So you started right, then it's going to get slower until at the end you like, right, we're, we're back tempo.